you walked across the Monroe Street Bridge today, there is a chance you noticed something new about the iconic Spokane feature. Handmade signs hung by a mystery member of our community now grace the bridge's railing, or at least they did, offering messages of hope and of suicide prevention. KXY 4's Caroline Rourke working for you tonight, trying to track down the origins of those signs and the reason behind them. Caroline. Nadine, as you mentioned there, and as we told you at 5 today, we showed back up here to the Monroe Street Bridge to see those signs gone. So they remain a mystery as to who posted them here and what the specific reasoning was. But they gathered a lot of attention from this community today, an anonymous helping hand reaching out to other members of this community who might be in need. You'll see the signs here on the east side of the iconic bridge. They share messages of hope and perseverance through hardship. Reminders that whatever may be going on, you're never alone. The placing of the signs is, of course, no accident. According to the Spokane County Medical Examiner's Office, 29 people in 10 years have completed suicide on Spokane bridges, a 2.4 death average each year. The ME's data shows that at least nine of those incidents occurred on the Monroe Street Bridge. Data from Spokane Police released earlier this year showed nearly 400 suicide attempts reported from the bridge between 2005 and 2017. These handmade signs present in a moment of need, even if a person isn't. Several of them include the number for the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. Whoever made them took care and time. They're laminated and zip-tied to the bridge. Pictures of the signs have been posted in several Spokane area Facebook groups and have received tons of feedback. Our search for the creator led me to this Facebook page, Monroe Street Bridge of Hope, which says it hopes to prevent suicide and change perceptions about the bridge. Now, Nadine, I spoke to the creator of that Facebook page today. She told us that she was hoping to post her own signs that she made. She did not make the ones that were seen on the bridge today, but she has her own she's made over the last couple of weeks. She's hoping to post them here in the next couple of days. But again, we'll be keeping our eyes on that just because these are not city authorized signs. And this is city property, which is likely why the signs that we saw today are not here. So we will update you as soon as we know more. In Spokane, Caroline Bork, KXY4 News. All right. Thank you, Caroline.